Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're at Volo Auto Museum, volocars.com. Great place to bring the family outside of Chicago. How many cars do you have there? We uh, average between three to 400 cars. Three to 400 cars, several buildings, all fun. Bring the kids out, you'll have a great time. And if you're a car lover, there's cars for sale, there's movie cars, and today I'm gonna to show you a car that's absolutely spectacular. It looks like it came right off the showroom floor. So Brian Graham's gonna tell us about that. Brian, what do we have here today? We got uh, one of the most popular cars there are, uh, 55 Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably the most popular color as well. What makes this one unique is how well it's restored. It is possibly, possibly the nicest, or at least one of the nicest 55 Chevrolets in existence. They did a total nut and bolt frame off restoration on here uh, to the factory specs with the primered floorboards, the original markings, uh, original shocks, I and mean, everything that's on this car was done uh, you know, just as the factory, maybe even a little nicer. Let's take a look. Here we are, the 55 Chevy. You know, I'm really particular about what 55s and 56s and 57s because there's so many. I usually like all original vehicles. Uh, that doesn't mean I won't do a custom if it's awesome, and many of them are. But just the fact that this is like straight from 1955 coming right at you. And I love just the coloring on that and the beautiful hood ornament, the wonderful headlights. This is just amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a showstopper. Let me show you the car from the side. I'll let you just kind of take that in for a moment. That is America, right there. What's well, the miracle is that undercarriage. Let's let's look at that. We want to feature as well. We're not going to start this. Obviously, it's up on blocks and it's in a museum. So we're, so you know, I like to start them, but I, I get it. And it's just tremendous. I love the. The little antenna with the piece there that kind of tapers off. And the nice curve on the glass in the window. And uh, let's take a look, since we're not going to start it, let's take a look at the front and open the hood, please. Thanks, Brian. Usually when you're in the museum, you can't get the chance to open the hoods and things, but uh, I'm here with Brian, so we're taking a few liberties while we have them. Check out the, the brake right there. Wow. That's super clean. It's got the spring clamp, uh, hose clamps, original battery clamps, and we do have a uh, reproduction battery uh, that's used for display. That's just, this is wonderful. Just. Wonderful. What a historic. Look at, look at even the underside of the hood. So you see how that fits together. Nice piece of structuring there. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the interior, please. Look at the seats. There's a little leather, like a leather feel. This is a cloth feel. And look at the doors. Just the majesticness of how they used to put that together. All the little Chevy bow ties, as you can see, little Chevy emblems. Just amazing. The back seats. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's take a look. Usually I wouldn't show you the trunk. You'll be glad on this one I did. Look at this. Well, you rarely use this word when you look at a car, but this is perfect. It's 
just and not only does it look perfect but everything functions you open the doors the interior lights go on the radio works all the blinkers and indicators in the dash work clock works and everything works in the car wow wow well you got a couple of wows out of me that <laughs> looks fantastic love the emblems there let's uh, let's go stand back by the front of it Let's shut the hood. Brian, another example of why people need to come out to Volo Auto Museum and come and hang out with you. This is just tremendous. Thank you for taking one of the quote unquote Tri-5 Chevys and giving us one of those excellent examples that I've ever seen. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for having me out.